Before we get on to it, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. You'll find more of my team content here than anywhere else. And yeah, we're trying to 286,000 subscribers as soon as possible. But anyway, now let's get on to the video. So, lads, today we're going to be talking about a guy that is a really, really good player. And he's super slept on. He's got one of the best releases in all of my team, lads. And he's one of your best shot-creating players in terms of shooting in the game. In terms of like dribbling and getting open... If you don't, if you're not someone that really is great with the right stick and a lot of your ability to get open is involved just using quick and shifty and kind of like just left sticking around screens, this guy is perfect for you. And it's a really slept on player, Desmond Bain. Now this guy is, is a guy that I'm still debating putting into my squad. Like I really am. He's, he's in that conversation again. There's a reason why I keep mentioning this guy. He's in that combo. He's 6'5", does have a short wingspan. I have to admit that he does have a short wingspan. But he has a 22 halves and 33 goals. His halves are all basically all shooting badges. He's like, but he's a clamps interceptor intimidator. And like basically every other half is a shooting badge. 33 goals, which are pretty good. And he's got like a 95 three ball, 93 mid range, 85 driving dunk. His ball handle is pretty solid. Defensively, good interior, good steel perimeter defense, decent block. 89 speed A's people, 89 acceleration, a little bit low, but it's okay. A 92 lateral. The card that I would, in my opinion, I would compare him most to is Kazi. For me, he's like a de he's like a worse Kazi. Like Kazi's Kazi's better, definitely Kazi's better. But for me, he's like a worse version of a Kazi Russell. Like if you look at the stats, Kazi's better at most, like a little better dunking. Bain tiniest bit better shooting, but it doesn't really matter. Defensively, they're similar. Kazi a tiny bit better. Kazi's a little bit faster. So Kazi's just a bit better. He's just not a bit better at everything. So you'll see what I mean by that. He shoot around. What I mean by comparing him to Kazi. Because if you guys see Desmond Bain, just the way he shoots. You can't tell me this release isn't so fast. Like, look at how fast the thing is. Like, it is such a nice release. Like, it is the... It reminds me, it's the closest thing, in my opinion, to like 98 of old. To like the 98 of NBA 2K20. Um, it's the closest thing to that. As well as that, normal leaner. With the shooting badges, he's fine. He doesn't he has a nice player build. Because again, it's Desmond Bain. Like we all know the size. We all know how big Desmond Bain is. How big his arms are. Like, yeah, his wingspan's short, but his arms are just so large. And he's got the wide player build that he's gonna be fine on the defensive end. His release is really nice. In terms of dribbling, I don't think he has the greatest behind the back. Decent dribble style. Okay behind the back, I guess. But um yeah, he's just going to be a shocker. He's going to be a guy that once you can get open with him, just shoot with him. He's that Kazi. He's that Kazi type player. He's not as good as Kazi. But this, in my opinion, base 83 on very quick is not. The, doesn't feel that much different than base 3 on quick. It's not as good as base 3 on very quick. Base 3 on very quick is another level. But like, this is in the top. Feels like it's in the top 8 or 9 release in the game. And it's also a lot easier to green the base 3. Let's not make that clear. It's a lot easier to green the base 3. Maybe not if your park player has been using base 3 all year. But it's a lot easier to green than base three. This might be, in my opinion, the best release in the game, the, my favorite release in the game. Because when you take into account green ability and how fast the release is, it has to be up there. Because like set shot 25 and base three are very difficult releases to green. Like they're, really, they're, they're the easiest release to get off, but they're very difficult to green. Whereas this release, a little bit slower, but it's a lot easier to green than both of those. And then again, he also has the fadeaway, which makes him infinitely more dangerous. It makes Desmond infinitely more dangerous. So I'm telling you, he's... Like, his movement's not even that bad. It's really not. Desmond Bain, I'm telling you, like, he could easily get in as my, like, Kazi light. Like, he's not Kazi. But he could get into my squad as, like, my backup to Kazi, which is probably where he will be. So anyway, yeah. Now let's go on green at three. And... Now let's get on to the game. All right, so we're gonna go into a game of clutch time right here. I'm gonna go into a game of clutch time to see how we get on, to see if we can go and get a W because we're doing all, we've been playing well the last few games. We have been playing well. Like we got a, a massive win there with Vinny in the last game. Vinny's a damn good player. Like I just wanna put it out there, Vinny's a damn good player. He's gonna come in for Kazi. I'm also gonna get rid of Mikael Bridges for Hunter because I've been having a lot of success with Hunter and he also costs a lot less contracts wise. Because we are burning through contracts, lads. We are absolutely, absolutely burning through contracts here. So, um, 
Yeah, let's uh, chuck in. Let's see how we get on. So Desmond Bane's in there. Hopefully Desmond Bane does okay. Because like we could be facing absolute god squad. Oh dear lord, let's just mute him. That was a strange noise. Okay, so he's got Dr. J at the two. Bobby Jackson at the one. I am very confused. I am very, very confused. Like this is a starter squad, but he is Dr. He opened a pack. He had 15k VC and opened one pack and got Dr. J. This is a guy, this guy's first ever game. This is literally his first ever game. And we just chucked the heavy just cause. Okay. Yeah, this is this guy's first ever game. How did I match up against him? Like, there is legit SPMM in this mode. I don't know how I matched up against him. Good shot there by... That's a nice four-point shot there by Desmond Bane. Oh, I should have been me. I feel bad for him. Like, he's coming up against a squad of, like, 98 to 99 overalls. And we're out here with, like... A horrific, or well, not horrific. So we're he's out here with a horrific squad, and um, we just got to block out of nowhere. Desmond Bane, screw it, just run to the corner and shoot it in his face. Okay, he actually got a contest on that. Shoot this one in his face. Green. Yeah, he's an undersized gold point guard. Yeah, there's not much he could have done in that scenario. I feel kind of bad for him. There is not much that was that was he was going to be able to do in that scenario. But at least we got another clutch time win, and we're on to the wheel. Spinning the old wheel. Okay, 400 is not great. Is not great. But um, let's go to TTO. Let's go and play a game there. So. Bane. Uh, Hakeem. Larry. Yeah, I just want to go all out defense. Larry Sanders, you go in there. Larry Sanders is an all out defensive player. And he's a damn good defensive player. I'm shooting every shot with Desmond Bain here, so. Using the other two guys will work perfectly, perfectly fine for this scenario. They will work perfectly fine. Okay. We're playing Steph, Rodman, and Matt Calvin. Okay, so he's matched up to Matt Calvin. I would have thought, oh, it's a guarantee he'd be matching up to Steph Curry. But no, he's matching up to Matt Calvin. Give me that. He missed that, really? Screw it, fade. There we go. He hit the tougher, he hit the much tougher shot there. He hit the much, much tougher one. Should have greened the first one, though. Okay. It's fine, I just didn't expect him to fade there. I don't know what he's doing protecting the basket. And we just got a load up, but it doesn't matter. He knocks down the load up shot. It's very rare people can hit through load ups. And he's he seems to be one of the players that can. Okay, this guy can move a little bit. That's a hell shot. Jesus. He missed the easy fadeaway and it makes that. There we go. That's easy. That's easy for Desmond Bain. Like, Desmond Bain legit just doesn't miss. I don't want to miss a shot, like. Jump. Oh, Hakeem. Hakeem. That's just too easy. I got Hakeem for 9,000 MT. That might be my, that might be the biggest deal I've had this year. I will be, I'm completely fine with you taking two pointers. You can't actually stop Desmond Bain. Until he proves that he can stop Desmond Bain, I'm cool with him taking twos. And Desmond Bain steps right into our deep three and hits it. I know he's got to take. <laughs> he's got to take from now on. We're there. I don't care what you do with Dennis Robin. I literally don't care. I look to shoot the ball every single time with Robin. I don't care. We're there. Good defense. Chase down. Okay, now he's got to take. Oh, that's a bad shot. 
Thought I had that one in me. Okay, so he doesn't have the the glitchy contest, which is a little bit a little bit disappointing. That like he has to actually get open. He can't he can't just shoot heavies and say it'll stay open. But it is such a damn fast release. It's actually ridiculous. Drop, throw it pass, throw it pass. I dare you. I mean, that's a, that's a good shot, like. And this guy's having fun anyway. I gotta respect that. I gotta respect guys with freaking Matt Calvin. Just have fun. Oh my god, I was greenable. I was greenable. I actually can't let him hit this. Good job. Nope. We're not taking the two. We're also not shooting that one. Let's connect. It's a good defensive possession there. Catch the ball, Hakeem Olajuwon. What is wrong with you? Oh, I'm so 50-50 on this card. Like, like, there are days where I'm like, oh yeah, Hakeem's really good. And I also hate him at times. He is the, for me, he's the least consistent player in this whole game. Like, there are days where I legit think he's a bum. And other days, I'm like, oh, he's a top five or six center in the game. Big shot there by Desmond Bain. Let's go. I still should have greened that. We take. I should be greening that shot. Got him. Run. Just catch it. Shoot no matter what. Game. Come on. That was a good win right there with a damn good card. Like, this guy here, he's... He's legit. He's legit. Desmond Bain is very, very good at what he does. Like, is he the greatest card in the game? No, he's not. There are better players in the game than Desmond Bain. I want to make that very clear. There are better players in NBA 2K22, my team, Desmond Bain. There are better two guards. But what you're basically getting is a poor man's Kazi. If you don't have the MT to get Kazi, or you are like me, where you don't really want to spend too much MT at this stage, um, and you just kind of want to use some cheap players, and you want a player that's... Again, just the worst Kazi Russell. Desmond Bain's that guy. He's just worse Kazi. And Kazi's a damn good card. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.